Hey, Dad. I went to bed at like 7 p.m. last night, and then I woke up at like 8 a.m. Now it's 9.30 a.m. Just slept in my clothes. Uh, I was debating whether or not to make a video to you or to call you regarding this, this new black eye, which is interesting. I was just thinking in the bathroom because I had a black eye and put it up on YouTube, and now you have a black eye and put it up on YouTube, and not everybody puts their black eyes up on YouTube. Or maybe, but everybody can, but right now, all, you know, all things in time. But what I think, I decided to make a video to you because I heard it about it through video, so we'll try this. I'll talk to you eventually, too, on the phone. We'll talk about it then, too. Probably. Who knows? Um, well, from what I know, when you go over to Olga, is that whenever I've been over there, you take, like, a shot of whiskey, and you're asking for it if you are drinking alcohol. I think you got to just cut the alcohol out of your out of your diet and start smoking weed. I know you live in Ohio where it's very shunned. This fucking society. There's this book, The Emperor Wears No Clothes, about hemp. And how hemp is, uh, since William Randolph Hearst had the, the, po the new post, whatever the hell the name of the place was called, he, like, owned all the paper or had, but and they were going to use a hemp as paper. And uh, he published all this, all this, not like, false stuff about marijuana, about like fear, like, drives these three kids insane. Where's the article? This is worth it. It's an actual article that they posted. What's frustrating is the last time I opened this, it went right to the page. Is that it? <laughs> Can you see this? Marijuana makes fiend of boys in 30 days. Hashish goads user to bloodlust. <laughs> Come on. And it's like, with went along, the government worked with him, and he... Published, I, I think the government, I don't know if the government, maybe, I just said that, because I thought maybe I've heard it, but I don't know for sure. Hearst was like, it was a sensationalist newspaper, but it was this shit, this was the media in the 20s, 1910 to 1920. He said that the majority of Negroes raping white women could be traced directly to cocaine. Oh, this continued for 10 years until Hearst decided it was not cocaine-crazed Negroes raping white women. It was now marijuana-crazed Negroes raping white women. Jesus. So this guy is a big part of why marijuana is illegal now. Because hemp, they wanted to make hemp illegal because it makes paper and it makes clothing. And it, it is biofuel. It could be used to power vehicles. hemp. Uh, I got a little off track. Oh, I got a little off track. I didn't get off track. I was explaining about why marijuana is illegal. It's, it's like, it really is kind of a strange misconception. It's only been illegal for like 100 years or something. I mean, I think the forefathers of our country smoked a lot of weed. They grew it, like crops of it. Dude, Ben Franklin, the stuff that he thought about, like electricity and harnessing, like, it's all proactive neurogenesis. And I've heard from other people that our forefathers smoked a lot of weed, which is why I'm saying it now. And it makes sense to me. Oh, man, that's crazy. So, yeah, I think you should stop drinking alcohol and start smoking weed. Or, or I mean, do nothing if you want to do nothing, but... Every human being seems to have some sort of release. Meditation is probably the purest form, but it takes a while. You have to meditate for a long time, so you have to have time to do it, which you do because you retired.
find the balance. And I don't know that you had drank alcohol that day that you went over there and blacked out, but I had a feeling when I watched the video, I said it out loud and I was afraid to respond to you about it, but I'm not now because I think that the alcohol will destroy you if you keep drinking it. And if you drink it once a month, you'll live a long time. All right, man. Uh, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad that the eye's healing. That black eye, man, black eyes are fucking amazing. Because there's a reason that people come away with them. There is a very specific reason. For me, it was that I lied to Amanda. So I lied. I wasn't being honest. So maybe there's something you're not being honest about. If you're drinking a lot, then maybe you're, you're holding something back. Maybe YouTube is the perfect place to figure out what it is, because I don't think that we consciously re know what our fears are until we just start talking. <laughs> I have a cough again. I bought a vaporizer so that I'm not inhaling smoke, but sometimes I smoke. I'll buy some Mucinex today. It's an expectorant. And, uh, and then the cough will go away. And I will be 100%. Well, I'll let go of the numbers. I will be healthy. I am healthy. It's hard to say I am healthy when I coughed like 20 seconds ago, but I'm getting healthier. We all are getting healthier. I'm shutting the video off now.